Okay, here's another one of these electrostatic motors that I've built up using uh, several projects combined. And you'll have to go back in my video files to find uh, where each one of these projects came in. It's three different projects basically put together. Uh, but basically it's the same idea as the last couple of videos where you have a negative ion generator here that is uh, putting out a stream of negative ions. It's high voltage, low amperage into a situation where you have a high voltage charge here tapping an aluminum strip on that rotor and then being discharged on this side by a aluminum foil brush on the other side. There's a piece of aluminum foil that goes underneath the dis device to the other side of this thing here. And um, that's that uh, stone uh, grandfather um, top, the uh, Dolenberg, I, I think it's pronounced, that uh, granddad and uh, you know, I've been fiddling around with here. And um, the uh, top structure is the uh, pulse motor design that uh, the first thing that I printed out really that worked great. But uh, anyway, it's a combination of several projects that I've combined here. Um, it's uh, suspended on uh, a push pin that's just stuck onto some double-sided foam and that's a, a magnet with some oil on the top of it for the lubrication and uh, this runs for about 12 hours I'm just a little disappointed it's supposed to run for a day but it runs for about a uh, maximum 12 hours between recharges but it's real pretty at night because the light lights the whole thing up and uh, that's kind of a neat thing um, I've got a solar powered uh, power bank that you could plug in here and put it in a sunny window and it would probably charge and, and uh, keep the thing going but I'm thinking about maybe putting some solar panels up here if I can get the right ones and then uh, plugging it into that thing and uh, even if it ran out of power as those solar panels charged the device up it would start it running again because it self starts these uh, electrostatic motors uh, will self-start. So anyway, that's that. But I went ahead and bought um, another one of these things that's one of these air fresheners, a little bit bigger, that has a uh, the negative ion generator right there that runs on this uh, 3, 3.7 volt lithium battery. And that's a 500 milliamp hour battery. This is claimed to run for a week on a charge. And uh, I'm going to be doing some testing with that. Now they have a little different way that they shoot out the negative ions here that's different than the carbon brush that uh, makes it difficult to, to attach it to a motor, but I'll probably disassemble that. But here's another thing that Granddad turned me on to was putting a hole down the middle of this top using a 3D printer it was really cool. And this is how I learned to put the holes down the middle of stuff. And that worked out really good, so thanks Granddad for that. And that makes a, a perfect spinning top when you have that needle going down the middle of it. But this is the latest I've been working on. I'm still working on these electrostatic uh, and, um, motors um, using a rechargeable negative ion generator that I've, I've never had them before. They've always you had to plug them into a battery, but these are self-contained. And that one there that's supposed to run for a week. That would be really, really cool. That's the latest. Thanks for watching.